Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to be making rumali roti. For that we'll need two cups of plain flour. We'll need a half a cup of warm milk. We'll need oil, about two tablespoons. We'll need salt to taste. To begin with, we'll just add one teaspoon of salt. Plain flour. We'll add the oil. Give a good mix. Then gradually we'll slowly keep on adding warm milk. We'll keep on adding warm milk and we'll keep on knitting the dough. is ready so I'll just add a little bit of oil to just keep the dough moist beautiful and I'll just put a damp wet cloth on top of it and I'll keep it for around 20 minutes. 20 minutes is done. Let's see how the dough is. It's beautiful and moist. Now we'll take a frying pan, but we'll turn it upside down. And heat the gas. And we'll just wait till the pan warms up. Meanwhile, as the pan is heating up, I will roll the dough. I'll take a little bit of the plain flour and just dust the countertop. I'll take the dough and I will roll it. As you can see, I've rolled the rumali roti and you have to make sure it's quite thin. Beautiful. This rumali roti needs to be as thin as a handkerchief. As you can see, it's quite thin. So now we'll just pick it up and we'll pick it up in a safer way by rolling it into in a rolling pin. And then we'll roll it on top of the frying pan. Just turn it around. Beautiful. Turn it around again. And we'll take a dry cloth, a clean dry cloth, and we'll just press it slightly so that it cooks evenly all over. Rumali roti is ready. Rumali roti is ready and it can be served with any gravy, chicken gravy, vegetarian gravy, whatever you like. If you liked this video, please like, share it with your family and friends and please subscribe my channel Inner Beauty. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.